Here's an interesting little uh, experimental setup I came up with about a year ago and the original purpose of this setup was actually to create a uh, lens or a drag free motor and the method of doing this was not to eliminate lens law but in fact to redirect the flux that it created into a separate core and so what I've done here is I have a rotor with alternating magnets right here um, that induce a magnetic field onto this core right here which causes a current to flow in here which will be equal and opposite which will create an equal and opposite flux which in a standard generator travels back through the exact same core and causes drag on the rotor as you can see I spin this up we get some milliamps on the scale there and the standard drag is there with anything. If I were to disconnect this amp meter in the shorting it would spin for about twice the time because there would be no magnetic drag. Now in a standard transformer not this guy right here the uh, primary winding will uh, create a magnetic flux in the core and when the secondary winding is tapped uh, it will create an equal and opposite flux within the same core. So now you have two fluxes in two directions within the same physical space. Now I found that the exact same thing happens here even though this is almost an inverse transformer. Why I call it that is because you have a magnetic primary, an electric core, and a magnetic secondary on which to draw energy. Now if everything is equal and opposite in physics, and I believe for the most part we have a good amount of symmetry there, uh, what we should find is that within this uh, electric conductor right here, um, this pulling magnetic current off of this magnetic secondary right here should create an equal and opposite current within this core and we should read very little on the meter there. So I will add this little magnetic conductor here, this uh, separate core here, and you can see that without it, you get 70, 80 milliamps, and with it, you get about 11. But look at how long this guy is spinning for. Now what else is interesting is all the energy is actually being transferred to this core right here. I've left about an eighth inch gap there and if I spin this up you can see this core actually trying to increase its reluctance by pulling this core into itself uh, as any magnetic system does. So watch as I transfer energy from the magnet to this core through this guy through, the, through here pulling that into itself but showing very little on the amp meter at the same time. You can hear the chattering as it wants to move back and forth as it as a magnet passes, it pulls it in. As there is no uh, current through here, it lets it go back to its original position, and you hear that chatter. Now this guy will spin for longer. There's actually no drag on it. I don't see the lens drag, and the energy is being transferred to here. But both currents are occurring in opposite directions simultaneously within this electric winding, which makes it almost useless to me as the amp meter shows, because what can I use that to power when you have two currents going in two separate directions? So this has a lot of possibility. Uh, it gives me a lot to think about and uh, I'll write a little bit more about it on the forum.